easy to find them? These things, sometimes we're walking in about a mile and a half into the woods here to kind of a secret favorite spot. Definitely a journey. Setting foot deep into the woods to harvest those few choice mushrooms. A journey that can be hit or miss. Most of the mushrooms, most mushrooms you see out in the woods fall into the boring, insipid category. They're not going to kill you. Uh, they're not going to be delicious. But finding the few good palatable varieties in Colorado's short foraging season, well yeah. worth it. Uh, and then in July, it really starts to happen with uh, porcini mushrooms, otherwise known as the seps or the bolita sedulis. And, uh, uh, and then finally, in the, late in the season, the chanterelles are the, are the coveted mushroom. Matsutake, chanterelle, and porcini to gem-studded puffballs and rusulas. Good and bad, the varieties can get confusing. So a good harvest takes a little effort. Sometimes you have to go to extreme measures to find yourself a good edible mushroom. This one is called an aspen bolete. And you can dry them and use them in a salad. You can uh, make pasta sauce with them. And there, this one's quite wonderful. Actually. In your search, it's a good idea to be conservative. A bad choice could be your last. You might even consult a book for identification. So these things really are deadly. There's about five uh, um, different kinds of, of, of uh, deadly toxins, in them, each of which could, could kill you in, in and of itself. Mushroom foraging, somewhat challenging. It's called an emetic russula, and they will definitely, definitely make you sick. Yet an enjoyable adventure that can be savored all the way to the dinner table. Believe it or not. <laughs> we just had bags and bags and bags.